Hi, I'm Todd Salzman with Whole Latte Love. Today we're going to compare three of my favorite machines. We have the Rocket R58. Well, first of all, these are all dual boiler PID machines. And roll High-end pump. consumers and rotary pump. Right. Okay. With E61 brew groups. So they look kind of similar sitting here, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of differences between them. First contender we have here is a Rocket R58. Then we have the Propitec Pro 700. And then we have the Expo Bar uh, rotary pump machine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, like you say, they all have the E61 brew group, but the extra bar is set up to work with the water line only. You cannot use a reservoir with the machine. It's not built in no reservoir. Okay. Look over the uh, Pro 700. It mm -hmm. does, have a, does have a reservoir right here, mm -hmm. or you can use the water line. The rocket, reservoir up top, or a water line. Those yeah. are the key differences there. We're going to take a look, look inside there. We've got oh, yeah. all three opened up over here, so we'll get there in a minute. But, you know, let's talk about how the PIDs are a little different on these as well. Okay. So they're all PID, but a little, little different. Okay. The Rocket R58 is a little bit different. It has this display here that you can pull off. The PID controls inside. This is just a, a display unit. Mm -hmm. And you can change your brew temperature, your boiler, your steam boiler temperature, and you can also shut off the steam boiler if you want to from in here. So once you get it set where you want, you pull this off, and you don't have any displays on the machine. Mm -hmm. uh, on the R50, or excuse me, the Propitec Pro 700, your display is over here. Does everything. You can set this up. You can run just a brew boiler, just a steam boiler, or you can have um, normal operation. The stew steam and steam boiler and brew boiler operating. It gives brew boiler priority on this one. Okay, and that display is alternating between the brew boiler and the steam boiler temperature. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on the extra bar, you actually have a pressure stat that controls the steam boiler. And when the steam boiler is up to temperature, it sends power over to the PID, and this controls just your brew temperature, your brew boiler temperature. Mm -hmm. And you set this where you want it. If you want 200 degrees, you set it at 200. There's an internal offset that takes care of any temperature difference between the brew boiler and the actual outlet of the, uh, the brew group. Because you get 200 at the brew group, it has to be hotter in the brew boiler. Correct. Right. Yeah, same with, with the Profitec. Now with the R58, you see I have it set at 233 here, but it's obviously not 233 here. Mm -hmm. You go to a chart in the book, and then you can see what your outlet temperature is supposed to be. Right, so you got to do a little conversion there. Exactly. Then you pull it off, and you put that away, and you forget about it. And you don't have to look at the lights if you Correct. don't want to. Okay. Yep. Um, other things to look at is the size and the look. Mm -hmm. You know, the R58's uh, branded heavily. Yeah. Got a big old R on there, and rocket there, and... Big rocket on the gauges, a big R, and they Even they branded the, here. Are you in the porta filters? Right. Yeah. You're not gonna mistake that for something other than no, a rocket. That machine. is a rocket. Yeah. In a nice um, welded seams, polished aluminum or stainless steel, mm -hmm. high-end stainless steel. The uh, Profitec. Now down here is branded, not nearly as much. A little right. Profitec there and there, and very subtle where they put the name up here. Right. Okay. I'd say this. She's a really classy looking girl. Right. Yep. But super high quality finish as well. I mean, oh my I God, love yes. the angles on the edges and the yep. wrap yep. and polish. Yeah. Put the angle and come over. Very nice looking. You notice the mirror finish on both of these. Yeah. And look back at the brick. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to tell where the machine ends are. Yes. And then the uh, on the uh, extra part here. They've got more of a. It's more of a stamped steel. It's mm -hmm. it's bent around. And it's not as high quality as stainless steel, it's still high quality, but you can still see by the mirror finish on how beautiful it is. And that stuff is just thick. Oh yeah, it's very thick. That's like the same thickness as a quarter or a thicker. Yeah. It's very, very solid. Very solid. Mm -hmm. Very solid. Yep. Uh, brew well, groups. The, brew groups, yeah. Let's Some, look at brew groups. Something a little special with the Expo Bar. Right? Yep. yep. In fact, you pulled one out. Yeah. Now they all have their own versions of pre-infusion. Mm -hmm. And with the Exo Bar here, in this brew group, that will kind of give you perspective. Brew right. group. Took off the shower screen, a little uh, uh, shower uh, sprayer there. And inside here, we have they have dug out like a, a groove where the water will build up in there and then come down on the coffee. Give us some sort of pre-infusion with that. So before the coffee's feeling full pressure, some water's going to drip Correct. on it. Yep. There's a solenoid works. valve in line here, so mm -hmm. you can't give full water line pressure for pre-infusion. Okay. Okay? Yep. With a Profitec, you can. So if you raise this lever up just the right amount, 
you can get water coming out of the brew group like that. Mm -hmm. And if you're hooked up to a water line, you'll get the water line pressure. And you get enough pre-infusion that you want, then you raise the lever up all the way and continue the brew. Right. Uh, with a rocket, you know, it doesn't have, you can't get water line pressure pre-infusion because there's a solenoid valve inside that restricts the water flow until you raise this lever up. Okay. You get the pre-infusion by raising this lever, doing the same thing you did on the actual bar. Okay. Okay, that all makes sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, steam wands and hot water wands. No burn, hot water and steam wand mm -hmm. on the uh, rocket and on the Profitec. Mm -hmm. The Expo bar has a no burn steam wand. Uh, the hot water wand is not a no burn steam wand. That will get very hot. Right. Mm -hmm. um, the valves, right? Did we talk valves, about that? Let's talk about valves. Yeah. Uh, all good quality valves. Mm -hmm. You know, this, uh, I'd say the, uh, my favorite out of all these is would be the X or the um, Profitec Prop valves. Yep. Uh, they're all, they, the springs hold the, uh, uh, the rubber valve seat off the actual valve seat in the machine. So you don't get a lot of pressure on it. You can't over tighten these. Right. Same thing with the rocket. But these are super easy to service if you ever have to get in and change the, uh, the seals. Mm -hmm. And the extra bar, you can tighten those up to, uh, to close them. It's a little bit different, but if you ever have to replace the seals, it's pretty easy to do. And I don't really want to talk too much about service in this video, but serviceability right. is important. It is, yeah, you know? sure. Because these are machines are heavy, and you have, you have to send them someplace to get repaired. It's you know. a pain in the butt. Yes, it is. <laughs> so. Yeah. so for serviceability reasons, I kind of like to look at that. Let's take a look over at the inside yeah. of the machines. Yeah. Uh, Got all three in the same order here opened up. Yeah, Back Rocket, then. Profitec, Expo Bar. Mm -hmm. We'll take a look over here. This, uh, not to serve a reason, but other things to know. Nice copper boiler, brass end plates on the rocket. Mm -hmm. Here's your steam boiler, there's your brew boiler. Uh, stainless steel on the Profitec. Both the boilers, right? Yeah, both boilers. Just beautiful job on they, the way they, they build yeah. these. It's not, not easy to weld that stuff, right? I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> <Yeah>. but <laughs> we have to take a weld. So I've glass. heard, yeah. yeah. Stainless is tough. Yeah, uh, copper boilers uh, with this foil insulation mm -hmm. on the axle bar. Now the axle bar, to service it, it's easy. This is a few screws, this whole back panel comes right off, and you can pretty much get at everything. Right. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, same with the, uh, well, a little more difficult for the R58 and the Profitec to get the housings off, a little more rigmarole, but it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. But you get in there. You get in there. And you can change whatever you need to if something goes wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we can help with that. Uh, on the R58, you notice there's just these solenoid valves over here. It, they added some more valves in here to control the water coming from the reservoir or the water line. Mm -hmm. Okay, just get some more stuff in there. A little uh, bit more electronics. Yep, yeah. yep. Uh, but all very nice. Right. You can see all, all good quality. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? Oh, ex accessories. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What, is the, what do the machines come with? Uh, rocket comes with a single spout and a double spout porter filter. All right. So does uh, Profitec. They all, I, we see the water line connections back there, so they all come with the water line connections. As well. Correct. They all got yeah. water lines. It's you know, yeah. all. They all work. Stuff. And your uh, extra bar comes with just a double spout port filter. Mm -hmm. One interesting thing to note, which I think is kind of oh, yeah. nice about the extra bar, it's an angled port filter. So when you put your lay it down on your counter, you're going to tamp. This is pretty level. Right. You know, when you look at these Very other cool. machines, you know, the other ones. The, yeah. Just sit at an angle, so is, depending on your technique. It, yeah. Is it a big deal? Probably not. Yeah. Just little things to notice. Right. Oh, uh, water lines or drain lines. How to hook those up? I just want to yeah. briefly go into that. On the rocket, you have this drain pans inside. Mm -hmm. Pull a plug out here. Water drains through here, into here, and they give you a hose here to hook out of that and run to wherever your drain line is going to be. With the Pro 700, uh, pull out that uh, drain there. plug there, then you just nut and bolt this right into place, and it's got to hook your drain line onto that. Mm -hmm. Expo bar, just drill a hole in the bottom of this here. This drain pan, notice the size of this. Yeah, that which is, is nice and big. <laughs> yep, and the water goes into your uh, drain cup there, yeah. and then they have a and then it comes uh, out on like the bottom. Yeah. Down there and you know, yeah. throw the hose back over in the yeah. corner there. Basically they all work fine. Right. No big deal one way or the other. 
What are we missing, Mark? I don't know. Do we want to give folks an idea of the uh, the steam pressure? Yeah, that's on yeah, these? You know, yeah. You want to do a quick that, little froth on it? Yeah, them? let's do that because okay. they're, they're all going to brew great. Right. Uh, I'm not worried about that, but and they'll still steam good. But I want, you know, if we're going to do a comparison video, you've got to see for yourself how they steam. Right. Because they are a little bit different. Okay. I'm using a 12 ounce pitcher, mm -hmm. filled up to right around where the spout comes in. Yep. First, do the exo bar. And that's a that's that single hole tip. Single right? hole tip. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. Now we'll do the Put that in the fresh bucket. milk. Not that it makes a difference, but now on the profit tech we've got the four hole tip. Correct. But you can use other tips, right? In yep. fact, we saw that the they pretty much exchange tips between these machines. Yeah, they all take the same size. They have the same yeah. size threads. Wow, that's a heck of a roller. Yeah, it is nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay. Uh -huh. Got that one. And we'll take a look at the rocket. And the rocket, that's now this has a two hole tip on it and it comes with another two hole tip. Correct. It's, just, it's the diameter of the holes that yep. you need. Nice okay. roll. Yep, does nice too. Yep. You know, they're all going to froth well. You know, yeah. the difference is the, the important thing is just learn the machine you're with, right. you have, and uh, you get the best out of it. You'll do great with all of them. It's Although, like tough to jump onto a machine you haven't used before, right? I mean, it takes, you want to get a little time with it. Correct. Right? Without question. You'll get to know it. Uh, now, the rocket does have a, a group of four seam tips that you can buy that will fit it. Okay. Uh, so if you want to play with the different tips, see which one works for you, those tips will also fit onto the Propitech and the Axle Bar. So really, I mean, kind of to us, now everybody's got to make their mm -hmm. own determinations, but kind of the Rocket's kind of the, the flashy one, the Propitech's kind of yeah. the classy one, mm -hmm. and, and then, you know, you got the, the yeah. Axle Bar over there, the Brutus, that is... Yeah, kind of reminds me, I don't know, like of Jaguar. I don't know. Jack? But, but <laughs> what's, the interesting thing about, well, another thing to look at is, look where the controls are. Yeah. Everything up here is for extra bar, right for you to see. It's all at eye level. You're not right. looking down. It's right there. Right. Okay. And then with the Profit Tech, okay, it's down here, but you've got your your temperature display right there. But right. we did we did not mention one thing about this is it has a shot. Do we mention the shot timer? No, no, no. So, okay. Yeah. So when you start brewing, it has a shot timer. That's handy. Yeah. yeah that is real handy. I like that a lot. Because yep. who wants to mess with the timer all the time? And that way, it just kind of keeps you focused in on your brewing. And the rocket, they just have their controls down here, and they take that display and they make that go away. And some people like that oh, totally no clean, no digital oh, junk yeah. on their yeah. machine look. Yeah. So basically, they're all awesome machines, and you just pick what you like. You know, the price difference between them. You know, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's pretty much all I got, Mark. You anything else? No. No. Okay. Great. Well, I'm Todd Salzman with a whole lot they love. Thank you for watching. Okay. okay. Anybody else watching? Yeah. Now we're gonna. <laughs> Let's try the some latte bonus. art. Yeah. The bonus latte art. Yeah, okay. for anybody who really cares. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but you're not allowed to do it on the Brutus because I know you know that machine because you I, helped create that machine. And, and I so. use that machine every day. <laughs> yeah. So which one so, do you want? I don't know. I, I, I kind of like the classy Profit Tech. Yeah, go the and I like that four-hole steam tip on there, too. So why don't, why don't we go there? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Got your Chiato grinder over here, the E37S. Yeah, E37S, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Very nice. Mm -hmm. One day I'll get good at tamping level, but until then, <laughs> whoop. We got a cup. Hopefully you got a clean oh, yeah. cup around here. Yeah, okay. yeah got my nice Lamar's oh, local cup. Your, you like that yeah. one, I know. I like that one, it's fun. Okay. Using whole milk. That's all you use, right? That's, yeah, it tastes yeah. so much better. Yeah, it does. It really does. And it frosts better. I'm going to start the brew and... So you, you like froth daily on the, on the uh, Brutus, right? Correct. So this is a new... Yeah, it's a little different.
How do you think you did? Uh, I think it's a little thick. A little thick? Yeah. Because it, it frosts quicker, a little quicker than the extra bar, so it's, you don't have as much control, so you've got to be really careful with it. You got a little going there. Yeah, she's not great by any means, but... Not great, but hey, like, I mean... It's okay. How often do you froth on this machine? But either way, it's going to taste good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for indulging us, Todd, and, well, and Sherlin. Thanks for letting me play. <laughs> okay. Okay, so again, another sign-off. I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love, and thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by WholeLatteLove.com. Oh,